morning my dear students of class 2 i am back again with another lesson of tk so all ready for it great so today we are going to do a lesson on useful plants you know plants are so useful for us they give us food to eat and they are also used as medicines in certain cases and some of the plants are used to make furniture and even tires and shoes and balls they give us so many things and also they keep the environment clean and healthy isn't that so yes so today we are going to talk about the useful plants that are there some of them are there in your book on page number 36 okay so let's learn a little bit about these plants and then we'll do the exercise in our book okay so let's begin this is a coconut tree almost all parts of a coconut tree are useful the trunk is used to make furniture we eat the coconut fruit and it gives us oil also coconut water makes for a cool refreshing drink coconut fiber is called coir and can be woven to make ropes and mats great isn't it students this is the neem tree various parts of the neem tree are used to make different medicines have you heard the name chloroquine the anti malaria medicine yes neem twigs are used to brush teeth neem leaves are used to ward off insects they are also eaten in many parts of india this is the banana tree every part of the banana tree can be used the trunk flowers and fruits can be eaten banana leaves are even used as plates especially in south india have you ever seen people eating food from banana leaves yes and look at the banana fruit this is a henna plant a reddish brown dye is obtained from the henna plant and is used to color hands hair fingernails and even fabrics you've seen the mehndi being applied on the hands looks beautiful doesn't it and even henna on the hair these are the rubber trees when a cut is made in the bark of the rubber tree latex a milky fluid flows out this fluid is collected and used to make sheets of rubber from which objects like tires shoe soles and balls are made look at the latex dripping out yes this is the tulsi plant it is considered to be a very sacred plant and it also holds medicinal properties it is used for prevention of cough and cold these are the pudina plants the leaves of the pudina plants are used extensively in cooking to give aroma and flavor to the food they are usually used also to make chutneys isn't that so have you ever had the pudina chutney yum isn't it yes it's got a very nice smell to it also this is the amla tree can you see the amla growing on this tree yes this yellow and greenish balls yes these are the amlas and they are very useful and healthy to eat they make our body 
strong and build up our immunity to diseases they give us lots of vitamin c which is so essential for development oh babies did you enjoy the video did you get to learn about so many useful plants great so let's start with our gk work now in our book so open page 36 and let's start so babies have you opened your GK book and taken out page 36? Okay, so let's begin by writing down the date. The date today is 28.7.2020. We will write the date on the top left corner. done okay so we have already discussed all these plants the coconut tree and the neem plant and the banana tree and on the next page there is this knee henna plant with the henna powder and this is the rubber plant from which we get the latex to make tires yes so now we are going to do the quick quiz okay so we have to identify these commonly used medicinal plants by writing your answers in the given blanks okay choose your answers from the help box so this is the help box and it has three options amla tulsi and padina we've already seen videos about these three plants now so let's try to identify them okay so this first plant can you see which plant this is try we've already seen a video regarding this plant Yes, it is the Tulsi plant. So, we are going to write Tulsi in the number 1. T U L S I Tulsi. Done. Okay, let's move to the next one now. So, can you guess which plant this is? Lots of leaves which are used to make chutney also. Yes, it is the pudina plant. So, we are going to write pudina over here. P U D I N A. Pudina. Done. And how about this third picture? Can you see the fruit growing there? The balls, yellow and greenish balls over there. Yes, they are so healthy to eat. Isn't that so? So, which plant is this? It is Amla. Yes. So, let's write Amla over here. A M L A Amla From here you can see the spellings from here also from the help box Okay So done Good job good job Ladies did you enjoy today's lesson Yes I'm sure you did so that's all for now and don't forget to WhatsApp your work to your class teacher. Fine. Okay, bye-bye for now.